So you've received your journal grid guide and you want to know how to use it in your journal. There's a couple of quick steps that we need to take to get it ready for use. And then I'm gonna go through all the ways that you can use it for really quick and easy journal setup. So the first thing we need to do is take it out of the transport packaging. You will see that on the back there is a QR code to get through to a whole page of resources for your grid guide. And then when you remove it from the packaging, you will see that it is in a storage wallet to protect it. So we're gonna remove it from the plastic wallet. And this is your grid guide. And you're like, what the hell? There's still the holes in it. What is this? So first thing we need to do, it's really important, is remove the protective film. So that is just to make sure that it doesn't get scratched or lots of fingerprints on it in transport. Now it is very transparent. I'm gonna, oh, you can see my reflection there. I am going to show you it up against a journal page. So you can see. So here you can see that on the grid guide there is um, like a square grid um, and then you've got holes um, and you've got numbers and I'm going to show you through go through all the ways um, to use those in a second so what we need to do first of all is make sure all of these little hole punches have come through so where the transport film has been on it potentially you've got some of these little holes that need to come out will look like this. Um, so all I'm going to do is pop it down on my mat and use a pair of tweezers just to poke through all of the punches to make sure that all of the holes are released. Now, in addition to this video where we show you how to prep the grid guide for use, have created a number of other videos showing you how to use the grid guide in your journal. So if you are not already, make sure you are following us on our YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist for the grid guide. And as I showed you at the beginning, there's also a resource on our website, which will include all the videos and a link to the playlist. So. If you have any questions or are stuck at all, hopefully we've already recorded the answer for you, but you can always add a comment underneath the videos and we'll do our best to create new videos to show new usage for this really, really useful tool. So I'm just continuing to go through and pop out any remaining punched holes that haven't come through when I removed the backing film. Um, it doesn't take very long. The whole of this video is four minutes and that includes a little bit of an intro for me. So it isn't a long process, but you will need to pop those holes out before you can go ahead and use the grid guide in your journal. If you're finding that they're getting stuck, I would recommend flipping over the grid guide and just going from the other side. Um, sometimes they just need a little bit of encouragement to, to pop those holes out. Okay, so that's it. Um, oh, there's one there. So it doesn't take very long. It's a couple of minutes at, at, at best. Um, and then your grid guide is ready for use and we can start using it in your journal for really quick setups.